So I like looking up at the sky. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. I always look up at the sky. And this past Saturday night, I was looking out my window and I saw a full moon. And it had an orange tinge to it. It was beautiful. And I remember saying, thank you, Lord, for that beautiful moon. Later on that evening, I was kind of scanning through YouTube and I came across a lot of videos regarding this moon. Apparently, this was a full moon in Capricorn and the moon was uh, unusual because it was the second moon of the summer solstice. Now, before y'all got start saying this is demonic, hear me out before you jump to conclusions, okay? The moon, the stars, the sun, all the celestial beings obey God. And they continue obeying God since their creation. And yes, I said celestial beings because they are heavenly creations made by Almighty God. The scriptures say that the heavens declare the glory of God. So keep that in mind. Now, these videos were made by astronomers, astrologers, swamis, and gurus. All of these are professional people that take their time to study the heavens, to study what goes on in the heavens. And because I was born under the sign of Capricorn, I, I wanted to check some of them out and see what they were talking about. Uh, one of the things that you should know is that the moon does have a gravitational pull. So they were talking about the gravitational pull on the oceans and on humans and things like that. This made me think about scripture. Because if you recall, the magi or the wise men were studying the stars they were astronomers, and they saw a star that showed them there was a king born in Bethlehem. And by following that star, they ended up finding the young Christ, the young Jesus, and they worshipped him. Another thing that you need to think about is that, like I said, these celestial beings they worship God. Remember when Jesus was born and an angel came to the shepherds in the book of Luke and he explained to them that there was a savior that had been born. And then the next verses say that the heavenly host broke out in singing and praise. Those heavenly hosts weren't angels. They were the stars and the planets and all the celestial beings that honor and praise and give glory to God. So we got to keep this in mind. There is some truth in astronomy. There is some truth in astrology. What distorts the truth is when these people worship the creation and not the creator of the creation. See, when they take God out of the equation, that's when it becomes wrong. Because even though the moon has vibrations and the sun gives off energy, I mean, look at our solar energy. We've got solar roofing and solar things that run off of the sun's energy. Even though these things are in fact, are, are fact and are true, we have to give the glory to who the glory goes to, and that's Almighty God. So these people aren't demonic they're just eliminating the main character or the main concept which is almighty god the creator of heaven and earth and everything that is seen and unseen now you can't say that it's demonic because satan only has the power given to him by god in the book of job we see that he had to ask permission to do the things he did to job and God had a purpose for the whole thing taking place. In the Garden of Eden, all Satan did was plant doubt 
in Eve's mind. And that's pretty much the power he has is to plant doubt and fear and confusion. He really doesn't have any creative powers because he is a created fallen angel. And his demonic squad, what they do is they rely on familiar spirits to give these psychics information. They can't predict your future. They can only tell you your past because they're going off of familiar spirits. Demons don't want to just wander the earth. They want to inhabit a host. So when you allow portals to open up and they enter you, they bring a gang of other demons with them and they live through you to torture and to wreak havoc on the earth. So don't be afraid when somebody says, oh my God, that's demonic. You are a spirit being and if you believe in Christ and God, you have more power. Doesn't the scripture say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world? I mean, come on. If you're not sure about what I'm saying, pray to the Holy Spirit and ask for wisdom and understanding. But like I said, just keep in mind, a lot of these videos were very interesting. And what they said, like I said, a lot of it had some facts to it. But the one thing I noticed in all the videos is that they failed to mention God who is the creator of the sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxies, the planets. And don't think that you were created as an accident. God knew the specific day, time, month, and year you were going to be entering this world. And there is some truth behind those signs. You don't live your life according to those signs, but the character traits of some people under those under those uh, signs are true. And maybe that's so that you can come to know yourself better and use those those qualities to your advantage on this earth. I mean, there's just a lot to be said about this, but we want to cast it away. Oh, that's demonic. Oh, don't listen to that or don't do that. Everything under the sun is created by God. And there's some truth to everything. All the devil does is try to counterfeit it and put his twist on it to eliminate God and to keep you not understanding what's really going on. So back to this full moon in the sign of Capricorn that took place on July 21st. It was a beautiful moon. Now, I didn't get under the moon to get the energy from it or none of that. I just gave glory to God. And I said, the heavens declare the glory of God. 